Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, Flyfish Fanatic. Welcome to my tanking bench. Uh, today I'm going to do a uh, little uh, saltwater, uh, tropical saltwater pattern. A uh, little great for tarpon, and bonefish, and permit, and roosters, and uh, mullet, and snook, and a lot of those inshore fish. I uh, really like these. It's uh, just a little um, bait fish pattern. So let's not play around. Let's get at her. So, in the vise today, we have a TMCO TMC8089 in a size 6. Um, we are going to be using some Semperfly Nano Silk in white. It's got a kind of a sheeny, kind of a, almost a silvery look, that stuff. Um, for the underbody of the, of the body of the fly, some Semperfly Hollow Tinsel in blue. Um, for the, t uh, the, the, the tail, if you want to call it that. Um, it's going to be, uh, where is my bag? Uh, the Semperfly uh, uh, Predator Fiber in white. So there's the packaging. Uh, the Predator Fiber in white and the Predator Fiber in blue for the overwing. And uh, then some uh, uh, Fish Skull Living Eyes. Yep. Right for the uh, eyes. And then... The Semperfly UV resin. I really like the Semperfly UV resin for these bigger flies. It uh, it uh, it comes in a big bottle, so and it and it goes a long way, and it, it it works really well. So so it's gonna start about halfway down the hook. Go to about where the point of the hook is. I'm back over top of that. Just get a little base layer down. Cut off my little rat's tail. Um, get my uh, um, wax, just give it a light wax, a thread, and then I'm going to go with my predator fiber. Now you can make these as big and as small as you want. I like making some really small, like this stuff, when it gets wet, it gets really tight. It looks a little bigger when it's, when it's dry, but when it gets wet, it tightens right down, right? So it just depends on what you, how, how big of a, a bait fish you're going after to imitate so I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna lay that down right about there I did wax my thread out there get that bound down really well and then go back over top of it open turns till I get to the point of my hook okay open turns back Let's make sure that's bound down really well. Wax your thread again. Now, repeat the same thing with the blue on top. Again, this will slick back, right? I want the blue just a tad longer, so about there. And what I'll do as well is I'll actually pull some of this blue so it's longer, like it tapers. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a nip to even up those ends. I've waxed my thread. On the loose wrap, get it right tight down. Tight, tight, tight. That's why I really like this nano silk. Just crank on it. Right. Now you can go behind that tail if you like and back and over that just will help it not foul underneath that hook and that's about it okay <clears throat> oh yeah and one other thing i forgot to mention is i will be using some oh, grizzly hackle as well so just got to find two fairly thin i don't want them too thick on this pattern thin but i need them long as well right so it's Kind of a a tough one to get them thin and long. That one's not too bad. And the one right bes right close to beside it would have been good. That one right there. Eh? Yeah, that one's not bad. So yeah, I'm getting them. Um, like I said, I want them fairly thin. I don't want a big bulky piece. So and now you can, if you want to, cut this a bit. Like I did notice, I did. A little too long there, um, but don't don't just cut. 
cut it on an angle and, and try to pull it through your scissor, right? Try to pull the scissor through. If you're gonna do that, like, there you go, like that. Just give it a, once that's slicked back, it'll give it a bit more of a natural bait fish type taper. It's actually still a little bit too long there. Okay, so now I'm gonna just gonna strip off the fluff on the back end here. Just check my length because I don't want it any longer than the uh, tail. So I'm just gonna strip that back just a little bit more. I'm just gonna tie that in right there for a second. Let's see how that looks. I want this to be on right on the center line of the fly. That popped. Um, right on the center line, um, act as a uh, as that lateral line on the fish. So this you want this on the center of your the body of your fly here, right? Let's just see. Yeah, that worked out really good. Okay, good. See how that? You'll see the, this side a bit better. So I'm just going to measure the same. So about there. When I put it on your side, I will have to turn it obviously here. Just gonna lay it down on your side. Make sure it's orientated right, that it's not flipped, otherwise it doesn't look right. Just see how that is. It's just like, there we go. Don't want that turned, right? Otherwise, it will not sit in there correctly. And that did flip a little bit on me, so I'm going to actually undo that. What I mean by flip is it's it's just turning a little bit. I'm just going to shorten my... Yeah, that's better. That's laying nice and flat, so that'll orientate itself nicely in the water once that's there we go okay so now just make sure that's tied down really nicely nip off my two pieces and I'm gonna add in that uh, blue hollow tinsel just get that tied in Okay, blue hollow tinsel forward. Now obviously you can do this with a white and green, white and blue, white and black even. Um, it just all depends on your bait fish in the area you're going to be hunting, you're going to be fishing, right? So uh, I like how that flipped over there. I want that on there. Nip that off. So now I'm just going to build up a bit of a, a taper up to that, the start of the body. So I'm going to come forward a bit and back a bit, just so you can see what I'm doing. I'll move my hand. Now with this nano silk, this stage can take a little bit because it is so thin. But I do want to, I want a bit of a transition there. It's not too, too bad. I can, the rest I can cover up with the resin. So now I'm going to do a whip finish. Working my way back in that whip finish. And I'll do another set. It's all going to get covered with UV resin anyway. But there we go. Nice and tight. Tighten that up. 
So now I'm just going to put a dab of Golf resin right where that, right where the material and the, uh, the, the tail and the body meet. I'm just going to take one of those eyes and put it right on there. Oh, stuck to my finger. Sometimes this can be a bit of a bucket list for me, it is. Just hold that there, hit it with your light, and that'll hold it where you want it. And yeah, of course, I need, didn't like where it was orientated, so hopefully it'll stay now. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not bad. Okay, put another drop right there. Same opposite, same spot. Get another one. And I want this facing that way, the eye. Okay, looks pretty good. Hit it with the light. Just to just to get that secured for now. Now we'll take my Semperfly, no tack, and I'll just, I said this stuff, there's lots in these bottles, plus the, it, uh, the consistency for these is awesome. So now I'll just take this and I want to fill in that head area right to the, the back wing and then taper it down. So then I'll just let it sit like that for a second or two, just to let it get where I wanted it. Okay, and I'll do the same on the bottom. I've been using this, been tying a lot of uh, saltwater flies for my preparation and my move down to Mexico. So I've been using a lot of this tack, no tack resin. Works really, really well for this. I mean, it works well for a lot of things, but really works well for this. Again, just let that settle for a sec. This is just my base layer. I'm gonna put another layer down, right? To, just to form the shape of this fly. Put another bit in the bottom here. Great surf flies. These flies are really, really good in the surf. They fish really well um, because of the, uh, I'm just gonna spread that around, um, because of the um, synthetics that I'm using in here, not the naturals. There's no, well, besides the little hackle, there's no naturals in here. It's all synthetics. Um, they shed the water really fast. One back cast and whoop, water's gone. Right, so I'm just gonna almost done. Just want to get that little hump taken away there. A little, a little dip there. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there, right in the middle. What I really like doing with these two is when I'm done, especially when I'm these any flies that I'm using a lot of resin in. Um, I like putting them outside in my in a fly box outside and letting the sun do its let it do it its thing right because it'll it'll do what I need it to do as well if because it, it won't because I'm putting so many layers on especially as, as fast as I'm doing it normally I wouldn't do it this quick um, it's not going to dry right through right so I'll just put a box of them put them all in my fly box, leave my fly box open on the back deck in the sun, done. It'll cure it. And guess what? We's, uh, I think we's a done, yep. We are done. Finished. I could do a little bit more on the uh, uh, resin in here just to, to, to smoothen that out, but it's really not a big deal as long as it's solid. Um, 
I use this predator fiber. I use the cashmere monkey as well from uh, from Zemperfly. Plus, I've got um, where is it? Uh, here, I bought another. Uh, this is one that I got from uh, off of uh, AliExpress, of all places, from China. Um, and they call it. It's Royal CC Flash and Slinky, um, and it's really good stuff. It's a little stiffer, so it's really good for the bigger flies. I don't like it on this one. I've tied it, this one with it, and it's, it's just a little too small. Um, it's a little stiffer, and it's got the flash already built in. You can see that it's got the flash built into it. It's really good stuff, but I, like I said, I don't like it on these smaller flies. Um, comes in multiple colors, white, blue, green, yellow, red. So, but Yeah, so that's about it. Um, I will put a... Uh, I'll put a coating of uh, Sally Hansen's on this now. Um, that'll just help uh, help with the stickiness. Uh, sometimes these uh, these resins. I mean, the Semperfly one is truly a no tack, um, but uh, some of these resins, depending on which one you're using, does have a bit of tackiness. So I always like finishing it off with these uh, with the Sally Hansen's, and that uh, I know it's going to be nice and slick in the water and nicely cured and and uh yeah not sticky so alrighty. hope you guys enjoyed that one yeah uh, like i said i know it's a little different so uh, i'm going to be doing some more tropical patterns hopefully some crabs and and bait fish and shrimp patterns and stuff like that in the next little while um in, uh, as well as my regular trout and salmon and steelhead flies so hope you guys enjoyed that one uh if you've subscribed thank you very much if you have not please consider doing so and uh uh, make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything and uh, share with your friends uh, uh the more uh, subscribers i get uh, the more i'm able to do more content and stuff right just it just uh huh. long and the short of it it gets you motivated right the more uh, the more subscribers you get the more motivated motivated you get to to do more and 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 uh other content so um but uh, that being said thailand's everybody